Unpolitical Theatre by Michael Kirby was originally written for the Drama Review's Political Theatre issue in June 1975 and was published by the MIT Press. The MIT Press is one of the largest university presses in the world. It publishes over 200 books and 30 journals every year in the areas of arts and humanities, economics, history and a variety of other subjects. This article was written in an approachable way as Kirby cleverly engages with his audience in the opening line by means of a rhetorical question, Is all theatre political? In his introduction he gives a few different dictionary definitions of the word political so that his audience has a context in which to consider because he refers to these definitions later in the document. Kirby uses examples of different plays in this case Oedipus and Hamlet, to establish his point of view, that not all theatre is political. He carefully explains that these plays are often misinterpreted for political plays because their protagonists are sovereigns. Someone's perception of whether or not a play is political in nature can often be affected by the time when it is first performed. Another useful example that gives clarity to his audience is the case of Italian Futurism. They were guilty of association as their leader, Marinetti, was an active supporter of fascism. This journal could be applied usefully when reviewing a play, for example, because it would make you consider whether a message within a production is socially or politically based. When writing or producing a play, that is intended to convey a political message, it is important not to believe that a play will interfere with politics. We may be able to bring an issue to the attention of the audience and make them ask questions while viewing and listening to a production, but it has very little impact on the opinions of the audience. Also, I believe it would be appropriate to consider the genre of the play very carefully if politics is used as an inspiration as you have to be mindful of how your audience will react. For instance, if it is a comedic production, the message you are trying to convey may not be taken seriously by the audience. However, this document is not without its flaws. At various points while reading this document, I happen to notice some generalising comments. Some people who claim all theatre is political seem to confuse political, social and economic. Some people, however, are able to relate any performance to the government or the state in their own minds. They interpret theatre politically. Because Kirby has not told us who made such claims, these points hold little impact for the audience as there is no evidence to back up this argument. Overall, though, this is an impactful piece of writing.